Hello, my soccer universe. Let's close out the 18-19 club season. I'm wearing Liverpool as European champions. That was to be expected. And yeah, uh, I have to say Liverpool is probably my team of the season. I think that's the team that I was most excited to watch. Of all the teams that I was watching, Liverpool was the one that was the most exciting to me. So there you go. Player of the season for me. Um, I'm between Messi and uh, Virgil van Dijk. It is hard to compare. I think Messi overall had, a, again, an outstanding season. But the defending that Virgil van Dijk put up was pretty much out of this world as well. And in the end, yeah, maybe I give it to van Dijk as well, since Liverpool beat Barcelona in the semifinals. Uh, so, yeah, and coach of the season for me also. Um, it's between the two coaches in the Champions League final, but since Klopp won it, I want to give it to Klopp. Uh, so it's an old Liverpool sweep, uh, which is, yeah, kind of surprising that I say I am saying that. I just quickly running through, and then I'm going to end it, uh, end the chapter on the club season. First, uh, the Champions League was an exciting competition, except for the final. I have to say. Uh, also, the group stage was not as great. I, I remember the group stage. Yeah, there were some exciting matches. I especially liked watching Ajax, which is my co-team of the season. Um, I watched, I liked watching Ajax. I think the Liverpool, PSG, uh, Napoli group was great. And I remember saying ahead of the last uh, match day, yeah, for Napoli, it's only second place. They will, they will challenge for a Champions League. Liverpool wants to win the championship. Liverpool should go out because it's not that important for them to win the Champions League. Yeah, tells you what I know. So yeah, Liverpool went on. Um, the round of 16, I still don't like that it's so drawn out. I think up until the quarterfinal, I even want to say that the Europa League was in a way more exciting to watch than the Champions League because there was a lot more happening, uh, a lot more, not necessarily better soccer, but a lot more excitement from all the constellations in there. So yeah, um, as I said, Champions League, I think from the quarterfinals on and Semi-finals, the Champions League, bar none, best competition uh, in Europe and the world. We don't need to go a little bit further. The final was a dud, except for the streaker running onto the field, which is probably the highlight of the entire first half. Uh, three weeks break. The Premier League needs the Premier League needs to get off their high horse and not have such a break. I mean. I'm okay, as I said it before, end the league, FA Cup final, Champions League final, schedule it that way. Those promotion playoffs don't matter that much. There are those you can do together with the Champions League final, whatever. Just have the Premier League decoupled from those promotion playoffs somehow. Uh, it's got to be possible to do that, honestly. Uh, and as this happens, I mean, we had now four teams in European finals and the finals were kind of dust, although the Europa League final in, in, in the end lift up. As I said, Europa League was kind of fun uh, at, the, at, at the beginning, but then in the latter stages you could see that there were only a few teams that really cared. I mean, I was totally disappointed by Napoli, who in the Champions League really seemed like contenders and then coming into Europa League when the wheels came off for Napoli. I think Napoli, after they lost at home to Juventus, Napoli was not there anymore. Get to Serie A. Premier League. Uh, I looked at the odds ahead ahead of the season, and it's amazing how these odds kind of reflect how the Premier League ended. Especially, I mean, I'm, I'm talking now, uh, not betting odds, but for 5 th 38 um, ahead of the season, it was Manchester City ahead of Liverpool, ahead I think of Spurs, and then Tottenham. Ah, Spurs. Uh, Spurs, uh, Chelsea, Arsenal and Manchester United, which is pretty much the same way as it ended, except for Chelsea being uh, slightly better. Uh, Premier League season was probably, I gotta say, was the most exciting competition to watch uh, in many ways, if you're looking only at the top races, because they were really the top six, I mean, the top two, then the next four, and then the bottom. And there was a lot of stuff happening towards the end, and this title race was gripping, uh, although it was really a sprint and nothing else. If you look at La Liga, La Liga seemed to be exciting at the beginning, uh, with Real Madrid getting off to a, a good start, Barcelona uh, also, and then it got into this shaky period around October, 
where in the end, despite a Messi out with uh, with a broken arm, Barcelona actually asserted themselves and never let loose. Atleti never could uh, come close or near to form, which was kind of weird. You finish second and you always have the feeling that Atleti, it's a wasted season because you were eliminated early in the Champions League. You had not much to say in the Copa del Rey. Um, and yeah, your biggest goal was to stay ahead of Real Madrid. Real Madrid had a roller coaster season par excellence. I mean, first good start, then it goes all downhill under Lopetegui. Then uh, Santi Solari comes in, goes a little bit up again, and then at the fall, especially with the Champions League accident, and Zidane, a similar trajectory. I mean, at first a little bit good and then bad. Completely lost season for Real Madrid, who are now in for a big rebuild. I think Real Madrid will be the biggest player in the transfer market. Uh, the race for the Champions League spot also seemed long time kind of decided. I thought Sevilla would get it, but then really it's crystallized that Getafe looks good and then Valencia makes the comeback for the ages. At the halfway point they were I think 10th or somewhere but they had a really uh, good run and I remember watching actually quite a few Valencia games and for me the image of Valencia 2018-19 is having many many chances and nothing gets into the goal and in the end it did and Valencia showed that they're probably uh, the fourth best team in Spain so yeah, for that reason, let's say Valencia did well, Getafe, a little bit sorry, I mean it would have been fun to have another small team that made it into the Champions League. We had a few threatening, only one actually made it, we'll come to it next. But yeah, uh, that was that, the relegation battle was more or less, more or less decided, technically decided on the last day of the season. But yeah, um, that it gets to Girona, I did not expect. Uh, they took a downturn. It really looked like it would Celta will look uh, bad. There was for some time in Villarreal in there, so that was one of the more um, exciting battles. Um, quickly, want to show um, Segunda Division if we know more. Well, it is still Segunda Division is still playing, and uh, there we only know Osasuna so far is in Granada is missing a point, and then there's the promotion playoff. So this is gonna take into the summer again, not necessarily to my liking. It should be done by now, honestly. But okay. Serie A, my favorite league, and at the beginning I was watching a lot of Serie A, I was especially looking forward to what will Milan do, and I think Milan's season can be summarized as follows. I mean, a lot of tough games at the beginning, so da -da -da, then we get up, then we hit the derby, and after the derby it goes down again, after which there's a slight steadying, first half, second half, the same thing. Milan in the end, we uh, lose out by a point uh, on the Champions League, which is a disappointing season, uh, to be honest. And yeah, this Milan fan here is really not happy about that. Um, Serie A at the beginning, it was an all Juventus show. Uh, they had a very early meeting with Napoli that they won and they never showed that they will give up that lead. Uh, they got lucky wins. Juve did not play great despite uh, Ronaldo in there. I mean, the beginning of the season was when will Ronaldo finally score his goal. He got it, but he never was the force that he was in Spain, but of course in the Champions League when he needed, he need, he lifted Juve up um, as need be, but yeah, was never going. Uh, well, never really got going in Serie A, I had the feeling. I mean, he didn't have a bad season. He was, I think he finished second or third in the scorer rate, uh, ratings, but given with the fanfare he came in there, I have to say Juve had a kind of a disappointing season as well. Uh, and despite being champions way way early so yeah that was uh, I think that that was weird to me to see that Napoli was always in second then Inter looked very very safe for most of the season but they had a horrible once Icardi made troubles Inter looked vulnerable uh, Milan even overtook Inter at a point just ahead, ahead of the derby that derby win saved Inter because it sent Milan into spiral and I think it was this whole Cassier Abilia um, fight that happened that kind of sent Milan on a downward spiral. Um, yeah, big story of course is Atalanta making it into the Champions League as the third place team. Uh, I honestly, the whole season I saw 
Atalanta a little bit about like a pesky fly in summer that doesn't let go doesn't let go all 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 as comes and this is because I'm a Milan fan I wanted that we at least get rid of Atalanta when they had been beaten Atalanta in Bergamo I thought okay one more point less we only have to worry about Lazio well Lazio took itself out of the contention they at least got the Coppa Italia Roma at least I think at the half a point I thought Roma should get the fourth spot but the management they are completely imploded Roma honestly you should never have fired Di Francesco. I think that uh, killed Roma's season right there. Um, and so Roma finishes only sixth, Milan fifth. Lazio saves the spot and now we have to see whether Milan goes in. Uh, from Serie B we had the um, relegation playoffs uh, where Cittadella and Verona played. The first game was won by Cittadella 2-0. So you thought that Cittadella really pulls the upset. I think they were the worst seeded team in the, in, in the playoffs. But Verona in the away game one nil lead at halftime, and then I think they got in the 83rd minute, they made it 3 0, uh, 68th or 83rd. So the outdoors were goals and Hellas Verona, after only a year down, is back in Serie A, where they honestly belong. Kievo down, Verona up. I mean, I'm sorry, I will not be able to show you much of my uh, Kievo shirt. I haven't shown any way much, but I think Hellas is the team that should be up there in Serie A. So uh, that's. Oh, that's pretty cool to see. So yeah, that uh, rounds out Serie A, which was kind of a so-and-so season. For me, the biggest disappointment was Fiorentina, who actually looked really good. Uh, very exciting to watch up until February when it all fell apart, I think, especially with Pioli's departure. Unfortunately, Chiesa will probably leave for Inter or Juve. So yeah, that's... He's an exciting player, but I wouldn't. I would want to keep him at Fiorentina. So, but yeah, uh, it was exciting. The last day of the season, Serie A, I think, was probably the most exciting one. Uh, Bundesliga. Bayern sta started as favorites. Bayern was struggling. Had to get used to the new coach. Whether they ever got to, I don't know. But you know, um, they were struggling, and Dortmund took a lead. A big enough lead. I think at one point nine points where you think oh Dortmund will break the Bayern monopoly and then poor Dortmund hit the skates right at the beginning of the second half of the season and after Bayern beat them soundly there was no turning back. Yes it went down to the last day of the season. Uh, if Bayern smells a title they are usually ruthless. Uh, I have I don't remember Bayern ever losing a title on the last day of the season. Winning? Yes. Losing? Never. But again, Dortmund, that they put up a challenge has to be commended. Um, it looked for a while that even Gladbach can make it, but then also Gladbach fell apart. So in the end is Leipzig the third power. Uh, Frankfurt looked very strong for most of the time, but I think their Europa League campaign uh, showed that their personnel is too thin, so they fell out of it. And I think in the end it was Leverkusen who made it in fourth spot, who were favorites at the beginning of the season, but um, never looked anything like it. Relegation, I'm very sorry. I mean, Nuremberg goes down, which is a favorite team of mine, and Stuttgart goes down, so that rounds out a pretty, pretty Bundesliga season for me. Schalke is another team that I like, had a horrible, horrible season. Bremen was in there, but you know, were one of, was one of those mid table teams. Liga. PSG all the way until they faltered and once PSG had nothing to play for anymore they lost two cup finals uh, they went out in almost unbelievable fashion to Manchester United whether they would have done anything against Barcelona I question and yeah Neymar has to make it through a season at PSG if he ever will I mean rumors are that he might go to Barcelona now um, in a way I have to say this is also very like Juventus very disappointing season for Paris Saint-Germain. Uh, if I had to dish out grades on the A to F scale, I would give both teams only a C. Because they were there to do more and they did very little. So for that reason, um, not high grades for PSG. Uh, Lille was the surprise of the season, having a very strong campaign. And I have to say, I watched at the beginning of the season, I watched quite some uh, league, uh, but then once the Premier League got so gripping and also, you know, Serie A is always in there, I kind of lost league, uh, especially since there was then no um, 
it seemed to be not as exciting as it could be. I mean, Ren I like to watch, but they had a poor start to the season that kind of undid them. Nantes had a disaster uh, with Emiliano Sala and Cardiff, which and both teams did not uh, look good in that. So yeah, that ends the league uh, season. Um, two leagues that made it the year a lot brighter for me. If you look at the top five leagues, it was not all that bright. I mean, England, Liverpool did, didn't win, but it was at least exciting. Uh, Spain, Barcelona won. It was never really... La Liga on the top was never really exciting. I think Barcelona was not as much fun to watch as they used to be. Although, some of the free kicks that Messi put in, I gotta say, that was exciting to watch. Okay, I take it back. Uh, Barcelona, you can always watch Barcelona. Let, let's play that because the little wizard can always pull, put something on. But over, overall, I expect a little bit more of the La Liga season. Serie A, not really exciting on top. Uh, Bundesliga, Tito. Um, Liga, uh, Tito. So, for me, the Eredivisie with Ajax, I'm not sure how deserved it was, to be honest. Uh, given that they got destroyed by PSV, um, in, I think it was October, and then I had such a lucky win against PSV at home. But when I look how they did in the Champions League, uh, I have to say Ajax was one of the one of, if not the most fun team to watch, and they scored more than a hundred goals in the Eredivisie. So uh, from that point of view, yeah, it should have been Ajax all, all the way. Given that they also started the Champions League in the second qualifying round, that has, and then of course Lask in Austria. Finishing in second, and at times I felt actually uh, that they were not playing all that well and they still finished second in this league. Uh, where I thought there's more in there. If they play consistently, we can even challenge Salzburg a little bit. But they had a few ups and downs, but overall an amazing season. Um, I can only say thank you for that. Uh, last, I want to say what was my match of the season. If I would have seen the quarterfinal return like between City and Tottenham, probably that would be the one. I still have to say the best, uh, the best match of the season that I saw personally was Manchester City against Liverpool, the 2-1 win. This was an incredibly intense game where it was top-class soccer from beginning to end. Um, there were great matches in Champions League. I would say that um, the Ajax Juve game I really, really enjoyed as well. Uh, I, I, I actually both, of, although the first first came a little bit more. Um, yeah. And I think it was interesting. Both the Liverpool Barcelona uh, semi final was also uh, in the whole picture. I think the first game in Barcelona. That was especially, I mean, even if it ended the, with the wrong scoreline, I think it should have been much, much closer um, if Liverpool would have taken a chance, but they turned it around at Anfield. So those would be, but I think I still want to say the Manchester City-Liverpool game, that was an exciting game. And in the end, that's the game that decided the season. And um, I resigned to, yeah, probably that it, that's why it was the just result that those two teams make it, uh, uh, finish the season as they did. I'm happy that Liverpool finally won a title. I would have much more have them see win the Premier League than the Champions League, but you know, so be it. If it's the Champions League, now they're in sole possession of the third place. And I have to say, Real Madrid, Milan and Liverpool, those are the true teams of the European Cup. And now let's hope that Milan gets back in two years time. Again, I'm Shutting down the season. Uh, I'm gonna now go all in for national teams. I'm expecting an order with Africa Cup of Nations jerseys. I will do stuff for the Women's World Cup, for Copa America, and for the Afri Africa Cup of Nations. Not sure at what frequency, but I will try to go in there. I'm really gonna enjoy the next one and a half months or so to just be national teams. We have also uh, UEFA Nations League coming this week. I think on Wednesday is the first game, so I'm looking forward to that too and some European qualifiers. Lots to play for. And with that, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel 
all things my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.